well this Indian National Congress and Congress as we call it today was in power till 1977 that is it had a sweeping majority everywhere and it always was the ruling party but it had a setback here and once again it came to power in 1980 and it continued till 1989. After that it has seen slow on its majority front that is though it is the ruling party but it has had to have coalitions. It has not been able to form a, una a single party ruling party. Well, it is called as the centrist party that is neither a leftist nor the rightist party. It is not an extreme party in any way. It is a party which believes in the middle path. It is secular in nature. It has certain ideologies and programs which are meant for the minority section of the society for the welfare of those depressed classes which have been seeing lot of indiscrimination in the Indian society. Well, presently it is ruling the country of India under the United Progressive Alliance Coalition that is though it is in power but gone are the days when Congress was believed to be India and everybody understood that Congress actually means the ruling party of India though it is there in power as I said but it needs to have outer support that is support from other political parties to actually become the ruling party. The second major party that we have in India is the Bharatiya Janta party. This Bharatiya Janta party has risen from the Jansang that we had and this party has a different ideology in setup. It believes in the culture of India, in the identity of being an Indian that is Hindutva. Hindutva seems to be their basic principle, the Bharatiya Janta party. Well, this Bharatiya Janta party had a big fan following in the urban areas in the beginning of the people who wanted a change in India and it got a lot of support in the beginning in the urban areas and it has three basic principles which it has put forth to the Indians and that is it should have that is India should have territorial and political integration of Jammu and Kashmir. 